So as the video suggests, we're just going to create a subscribe button. I haven't figured out how to create an intro. <laughs> So first we're going to start from with canva.com, it's free, by the way, just create an account. So I'm just going to look for YouTube thumbnail because it's the right dimensions and it fits perfectly to the screen. So the website comes with a couple of templates but this one we won't use one, we'll just start from scratch. So click on elements and look for a rounded rectangle but you could use another shape depending on your aesthetic mine is already in red but please remember you could always change the color so play around with the dimensions you can place it anywhere on the page we'll figure that how to change that in editing later so that being done let's create a play button to signify youtube so rotate that 90 degrees and resize it to whatever size you want and place it in the rectangle remember to change the color to white or depending on your aesthetics depends depends whatever your colors are and the next you're going to add a title the title is just pretty much words so choose any of this and type in subscribe because we're creating a subscribe button why because we're smart and take this time to subscribe to my channel <laughs> then at this point you're just going to play around with size and bolding just play around with the text till you like it so resize it there's never a wrong way to do it it just depends on what you like so So you could always change the font depending on what you like so i'm just going to show you a few how it could look like different fonts but i in the end ended up with open sans because it's easy to see and you can't see you do not see the subscribe button and at this point kindly click on the red one thank you so just play around with placement and sizing till you feel like it speaks to you this is you create creative freedom yo it's your channel so once that is done we can animate canva comes with a couple of animation options which are free um my account is a free account so <laughs> it's just going to mess around with the free ones i ended up liking the block ones so that's what i'm going to go with and that's it if you're happy with that we need to change the background to a green screen so that you can mess around with it later in editing so i'm going to show you how to place it in wondershare for more because that's what i use i gave up on the premiere pro So once that's done and you're happy with it you can download it either as a gif or as a video i downloaded it as a video because I didn't feel like looking for Jeff. <laughs> so another way you could also add the this day <laughs> duplicate what you had before and then look for bell icons to signify the notifications bell and you're also going to add a like button to this one. So click on the notification bell resize it to whatever and the same thing we did before resize play around with color till you feel like it speaks to your soul next we're going to add a like button so as usual just type in like into the search bar canva has made it so easy for us choose an icon you like and do the same thing so click on it resize it here i'm just going to use the notification bell as a resizing template but you can do your bow <laughs> and then play around with placements where you want to see it you'll just see me playing around with it for a while and see how i like it and now that i said how i like it take this opportunity to click that like button 
so now let's animate as usual they have a free thing so you can just click click on things till you see what you like and that's it now that we are done download it as usual either as a gif or as a video file So now open your editing software. I'm using Wondershare Filmora. Import all your footages, the green screen ones and whichever video you want the subscribe button to be on. This is just from a vlog that never made it online. Just showing you how <laughs> where I live. There's a washing station. Wash your hands. Corona is still here. So then resize. Then make sure that the green screen footage is on top of the footage so it's just going to be um, on top of the footage you want because we're going to make the green screen disappear click on the green screen icon it looks like a presentation like somebody thought of a presentation screen uh, make sure the color code color selected is green and just you can size it place it depending on what you like I'm just playing around with it right now and for the white film you can see we are going to offset and boom it's gone <laughs> yeah and that's it you could end it here if you want however being the person i am i just gave myself a lot of work to play around with it and make sure that the animation like animates in and animates out so i'm just reversing the footage duplicating it and a bunch of other stuff this is how it will look finally and thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it subscribe leave a like and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this later bye